Hello, Tex Andrews for the Light Zone Project. This is part two of our two-part tutorial on regions. So, in the first part, you show, I showed you how regions can be created. Now I'm going to show you some other things about regions. So let's create one again. I'm going to use the Polygon tool to create a region. I'm going to create one right here. Give it a lot of control points to make my point. Uh, with these two tutorial videos, so we are seeing a more complicated region being created. Okay, so I've created my region, I've adjusted my feathering. Now, first thing I'm going to do is open up a new tool, opening up a sharpening tool. This has no regions associated with it. If I go back to the Zone Mapper tool, the inner line has disappeared. And if I double click, now I have all my control points back and I have my inner line. If for some reason I go out of regions mode, my region disappears entirely. In order for me to see it again, I have to click back on regions mode to get back in regions mode. So be aware of that. Remember that the icon for region mode sits between the Collapse and Expand button on your tool and the tool icon. So if you see this icon, you know a region has been applied to this tool. There isn't one here. There is no icon. So let's say I want to create a region for this tool, but now I want to copy it to this tool. I want to do that instead of having to redraw it. Well, all I have to do is go up here to the main menu bar, and here's the edit drop down menu, and here's a list of things. We have undo region change, which keyboard uh, shortcut is control Z, redo region change, control Y, cut region control X, copy region control C, paste region control V, and then paste region link control shift V. I'm going to copy this region. Now I'm going to activate the sharpening tool by clicking on it and I'm going to go back up here and paste region. I could use the keyboard shortcut but I'm not going to for this demonstration. If I double click on this you see here's the region copied right from the zone mapper tool over to the sharpening tool. If I go here and I decide oh I actually want this to be a different shape and I need to do something different with this make some changes to it, and I'm going to change the feathering area. Okay, that's fine. I select the sharpening tool. None of those changes have taken place. So, what do you do when you want to create one region, have it apply to different tools, but only have to change it once? Well, let's go back up here. Let's delete this tool. We're going to delete the region, that is. Now we're going to go to the Zone Mapper. We're going to recopy this tool. We're going to go back to the Sharpening tool. And this time we're going to paste Region Linked, or Control-Shift-V. And now this region has appeared here. If I go to the Zone Mapper tool, and I change the shape of the region and the feathering, or delete a control point, or add a control point, and I go back to the Sharpening tool, you should see that all the changes I made down here in the Zone Mapper tool have now carried over to the Sharpening Tools region because I pasted it linked. Furthermore, if I decide to delete a point up here and go back to the Zone Mapper tool, that change has occurred back in the Zone Mapper tool. So now these two tools are linked and you can link regions across as many tools as you want. So this gives you additional flexibility with the use of regions and it shortens your editing time 
because you may be creating one region over and over again to, say, protect an area or to have certain changes happen just to that area and not to others. And rather than redraw the region over and over again, you can copy and paste them or you can copy and paste them linked either way.